Hi guys, it's Tammy with Pretty Presets, and I had posted some edits yesterday um, using the Bohemian set and then the new uh, portrait uh, editing set, and I had a lot of people asking how I use the two together and if I could make a quick video, um, so I'm going to do that as quick as I can right now and try and get it up for you guys to see how I use the two together. Um, I'm going to leave it in this view right here so that you can see the difference as we go. This is the one I'll be working on and then this is the reference photo over here. So the very first thing I'm going to do is Calypso from Film Bohemian. And I know it doesn't seem like it's light enough or bright enough and it's not yet. But you can't get too hung up on the very first time you apply the preset because there's always things that need to be done. They, they were underexposed. The sun was behind them. Um, this wasn't really planned. I didn't really position them this way, but they started finding ladybugs, so I had to kind of just go with it. So there's not sun on the front of them at all, so that's kind of what we have to fix. So I'm going to do Calypso, and then I'm going to just come down here to the new portrait workflow right here. And I am going to do peaches and cream because I want some like pink tone to it. And I know that still looks very strange and overly warm, but it won't be. I'm going to keep coming down here further to the toolkit. And in the toolkit, I'm going to turn down the contrast, which you can see that's already helping. Um, a lot of people think that you have to have uh, contrast really high in edits or they don't pop, but that's really not true. If you're having harsh shadows, um, like around the eyes and face area, if it looks a little harsh, turn down your contrast. Um, I'm going to turn up the exposure right here and look, voila, I mean that's already really close to what I want. So I'm going to turn that up, I'm going to keep coming down a little bit further, I'm going to sharpen. I'm um, probably just going to do 50 here. There we go. And then I am going to use the Soft Center Light in Warm. Once again, really bringing the light down here to their arms, their faces. Um, I'm going to then come over here. I'm going to turn down the highlights a little bit. Over here, I don't want it crazy bright. Um, I'm going to turn up the whites because I like the whites sort of on their face and that kind of stuff here. I'm going to turn up the whites, but then I'm going to turn down the blacks because I want to keep their lashes dark um, and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to turn the blacks down, turn the whites up. Okay, let's see. Dehaze, I'm going to use it just a little bit at like a five. Because once again, I don't want everything blown out over here. And I don't know why I can't stop getting emails, but I guess you're just going to have to see my emails up there. Sorry. <laughs> so we've got all the exposure. Okay. I don't really want there to be this little bit of map, so I'm going to grab this and just pull it down. And then I'm going to come down here into my sharpening. I'm going to mask that off a little bit further. I like to mask really high. Masking is... Um, like if I had the masking all the way down to zero, the sharpening would be sort of all over the skin. If you turn the masking up, it puts it to the edges of the skin, which is what I like. I am going to enable profile correction because I always do, almost always. Um, what else? What else? I think I'm going to do a couple radial filters on them, on, the, on their faces. So I'm going to come back up here to the top. Um, you know what? In the split toning, I'm just going to turn this saturation down because I want the white in the highlight to be and in the shadow to be nice and white. So I'm just going to turn that down. Okay, I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to hit my radial filter. I'm going to lighten Dad's face here with it. I'm going to lighten the side of her face here with it. Then I'm going to hit the brush tool. I just want to lighten all these little details. Lighten up his shirt a little bit, the bottom of his face, the hand down here. 
lightening like this with a brush, it just kind of calls the attention back to what, whatever the light part of the photo is, where the light is, is what's going to catch people's eye. I'm going to lighten Dad's lower smile here a little bit through her hair. I'm going to hit this side of her face again just because the other side is so bright over here. So I'm going to lighten this side to match it up a little. And I'm going to come down Mom's face one more time on Mom's shirt right here where it's dark. And I'm done. I mean, the only other thing that I would probably do, <clears throat> excuse me, that I did with a lot from this set, um, I took it into Photoshop and added um, a flare. And I would do that probably over here in this corner. I would pull one into this side right here where it's naturally shining on mom. Um, and she doesn't like her tattoo, so I would take that out because she did tell me that she didn't like her tattoo. Um, but I, I don't think that I would actually add light to this one. It's nice and bright. I really like the way that it is like this. I like the greens. Um, and I don't think that if you looked at this, you would think, oh, that's, that'll just be a snap. You would think that that's a little underexposed and um, you might even pass that one up in your editing. But don't pass things up in your editing just because they're a little underexposed. Uh, I, I love the pinks. I love the brightness, but you still have all the details. Their lashes aren't blown out. Their eyes aren't blown out. The whites aren't blown out. So there is my super quick edit. I told you guys it was easy. And that is why I like using this new set with Bohemian because Bohemian is more of a film look. It is meant to be darker and I love the film look. But when I edit darker, everybody sorts, uh, sort of tends to just scratch their head like, wait a minute, what is she doing? Uh, it's outside of my norm. So my goal was to try and marry the look of film bohemian with the tones like the what it does with the greens um, and still make it light and bright like the edits i've always loved so these two sets together you guys just saw how easy that was so i hope that that was helpful and let me know if you have more questions thanks guys bye